Hey guys, Bam here, and I'm going to teach you how to do the Predator effect today. So, you can use this for any sort of user operated kill streak, but basically, that has like a screen or something like that. So, basically, what we're going to do is just when we get to this screen, we're going to use this screen and put the Predator um, view inside it. So, what we're going to do is just when we get to the very first frame where it shows the, the end and Control D, which will basically duplicate our layer and then we're going to go time freeze frame which will give us this frame for the whole time so we're just going to go back to that last frame that we did and we're going to go square bracket and then what we'll do is we'll go hide that layer and just when the same same picture comes here yep and we're going to click alt and open square bracket which will basically just give us this little flat screen for the whole period of the predator. Now what we're going to do is just mask this little this layer and you can do this a lot slower than I'm doing it. This is purely for demonstration and it gives you this little outline of the predator while you're um, you're using the predator. So what we do is click M M on this layer and then click next to inverted which will flip it like that so we've got the predator screen here this is the basics of the effect what we want to do is match the size of this up a little bit so what we're going to do just as this finishes we're going to go control D actually you know that's not true you're going to make sure it goes into the black so when it fades into black just here you're going to go control D control shift D sorry and then we'll zoom out a bit more and just as this predator closes we're going to control D again and what that will give us is this little part here and we'll find a clear spot and what we want to do is click S and that will give us a scale and make sure you're back on the, the mouse and just drag it around just to you get it sort of where you want it and that's how we do get the right sizing and on this layer also what we're going to do is put an effect called corner pin so effect distort and then corner pin and what that gives us is these little the ability to move where the corners are it gives us a nice scale and we're just going to do this for all of the that's pretty much right that one all of the corners you can just go around you can either drag them or use the coordinates and you just basically put it in the corners give it the, the effect that you want to give it so there we've just seen it and it looks much much more like you're actually controlling it and then it pops out and there we go what you'll notice though when we're using this is because we've used the last frame you can see the kill feed on the left side the left hand side what we want to do is blur that out so all we have to do is layer new adjustment layer and we're going to mask around the outside now around this guy's glove and around the outside of the laptop and zoom out a little bit and we'll make one mask here and we're also going to do another mask on the other side and that will just allow us to blur out all the outside that's and just take as much time as you want these masks they look really good if you take a bit of time even if you want to add a bit of feather and that will look really good okay what we're going to do is effect just uh, blur and sharpen and you can use gaussian blur or fast blur i prefer to use fast blur because you can do repeat edge, edge pixels and so you can see how it goes a little bit wide on the outside i don't really like that look so I'd rather do it like this, so we want to give a blur so we can't see the outside. And also, if we click M, we can go to both of them and change the feather, so we'll give it like four pixels. Four pixels on that, so just so it makes it look a bit nicer. Okay, now what we want to do is, for this one, we can just, just as we open it, there we want to open uh, square brackets and then just at the end where we hit 400 
we want to keyframe the blurriness and just as the big 400 comes up we're going to put it down to zero so then all our blurriness is gone so you can just see blurriness and then it hits the 400 and it's gone so basically that's our effect today and just open it up shows the laptop and then close it with a little bit of blur just so you can't see the keyframe if you were to do this in Modern Warfare 2 I'm pretty sure it wouldn't go dark so what you could do is keyframe it here because it'd be lighter and then put your screen in there and you wouldn't have to worry about the blur because there'd be no kill feed so I've also put some color correction and things on my other one uh, and I just hope to uh, see if you guys want to do something like that that's cool um, it does put a lot of I put some twitch and just different color corrections on and scale and stuff like that to the beats and also some audio react and it just looks good to just composite all that sort of stuff together so um, I won't be teaching that but I will have a audio react audio spectrum uh, tutorial coming up I hope you enjoyed it guys uh, drop a like if you think this video deserves it so I'll see you later guys